Uh, we're gonna start up by connecting here. I, I, there are a lot of options in this plugin. It is quite complicated. Uh, I don't think it's that intuitive because you don't really know what's where. So uh, don't feel bad if you're a little overwhelmed because I have definitely been that way. So I am here on our rocket launch map. And uh, what I would like to do is have a quest that somebody would get as they start this map. So there are a few ways I could do this. I could either create a region that might be like as they walk through this mission area, we could give them a quest. That's fine. I have to assign that with a region tag, uh, a flag that would go along with that region, and it would then force the assignment. Alternatively, I can make the assignment something that they would could talk to somebody to get. Um, uh, for this quest in particular, it actually makes more sense to give it based on the region they walk through. However, I'm going to show it as based on somebody that they talk to. So the way that we've been marking quests for people when you talk to them is we put some sort of exclamation mark over their head. So first thing I'm going to do is with our attendant here who says, hi, talk to me first. I'm going to do NPC select and that selects the attendant. Um, and then I can do an NPC hologram add. And uh, I'm gonna switch screens really quick here because I never remember this code because it is uh, a little difficult. <laughs> here we go. And I wanna do an exclamation mark and I'll slow down for this. So I've just copied this. This is coming out of the server documentation. This looks like somebody just smashed their face on the keyboard. I know that's really difficult. What's going on here is this ampersand and the F, that means it's turning something the color white. Uh, the ampersand and the L is turning something bold. Uh, ampersand and the E is the color, and then uh, the L again for uh, bolding something. Uh, and you, see, you can see the exclamation mark here. That's actually what the content is in the middle. Uh, so we're making like a yellow exclamation mark above this, this guy here. So I do that and you can see it comes out looking like that. So uh, th th that's the way that we mark it's a quest. Now, the players at this stage in the game don't really know that's what that means. They would just know, hey, this is important. That's fine. Uh, it, it gets them in the, the mode of recognizing the symbols. So anyway, that doesn't actually make the quest. To make the quest, we need to go into the quest editor. Uh, for this, we're going to need an important important piece of information, though. This NPC, I, I've already selected him. I wanna check his ID though. So this is the attendant, he's number 43. So that's gonna be important later for making this quest. So uh, for quests, this is something where I wish they had a uh, uh, multiple ways of doing it. It has to be quests plural. So I always screw this up and I type quest and then I type something. No, it's quests plural as we have multiple quests and we are going into the editor. See if I can do that. There we go. So now we get some options. We can create a new quest, edit a quest, or delete a quest. Please don't delete my quests. They are a whole honk and lot of work to set up. Never touch that. Uh, if you hit T, it'll show you again what we've typed in the past. Sorry that our attendant is just spamming at you. At this point, players may not know how to actually talk to NPCs, so this guy just kind of talks at you if you get in his vicinity. So, um, and we could likewise we could have something where it just gives the quest in his vicinity, which is very well what I may change it to be. Uh, but if for my demonstration purposes here, we're going to make it as if you have talked to this NPC. So we're going to create a new quest. So we do number one. And here we uh, then can enter in the name for the quest. Now, this is really nice. Rarely in Minecraft, you could to put, get to put spaces in names. But in this case, we do get to put a space in the name. So we say, get to the rocket. I almost want to name it, get to the chopper. All right, so we're going to call that quest, get to the rocket. And then this, this catapults us into this very long and complicated menu set, but it's kind of like a checklist. You can think of it like that. So we've already set the name for the quest, uh, but we have to have a message for it. And we want to have for both the, the beginning of it as well as the finishing of it. And we also want to set which NPC triggers it or a region that triggers it. So I could have set up a region prior. So I'm going to do this NPC. So you remember if I scroll back up, this NPC is 43. You can always write that down if you're not sure. So we're gonna do the set NPC start, so option four, and I do 43. So now you'll see it says that the attendant is the one that starts this quest. Uh, so we have a few other things we wanna do. So set the, the message, so I'm gonna do number two, and uh, we're gonna say the message is, find your way to the rocket uh, using the map. Uh, I am in op mode, and so I, I do not have a map that has been given to me. It's, it's somewhere in my inventory, but a new player would have pretty much the only thing in their inventory would be a map to look at to tell them how to get to the rocket. It's not very hard, but, you know, it's good to have multiple redundant ways of helping people pass through. So uh, you can see now here in the message, it says find your way to the rocket using the map. So uh, setting the finishing message, they probably actually won't see this because it will just... 
I uh, like I well I, I guess depending on how we want to make the quest completable uh, they might see it or not but there's a good chance they would just kind of teleport to the rocket and it would be a non-issue uh, but I'll, I'll have uh, I'm gonna do my picking here we go set the finished message is number three so I do three and I'll say good job you made it time to fly or time to I don't know is fly the right word time to launch <laughs> we'll do that there we go. So that's now their message when they get off. Um, so there's a few other things that are uh, going on in here. Um, we can edit stages. In, in This is how you make a quest that has multiple components, which many quests will actually have. Every quest actually automatically has a first stage. Uh, so you can't see this because it's, it's shared off screen right now, but uh, that, that is like, like every quest just automatically will have the stage one that's sort of invisible unless you uh, intentionally make multiple stages. Uh, or at least invisible at this level. Setting rewards is where we might use permission levels. You might get a higher level permission level, or it could send, give you an item or something like that. If I do 12, we have options. You can see uh, there are some options that we may want to use, uh, like allowing people to do different things during the quest. Uh, like one, the main option that we might adjust is if they're allowed to quit, 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 quit the quest. There we go, that's a tongue twister. Uh, so I'm actually gonna say two. Uh, we don't want them to be able to quit the quest. So I'm going to set that to false. There we go. And now that I am done, I say number four, and that backs me out. And so th this is how the menus work, is you sort of traverse back up and down with these different things. So um, anyway, this is the, the quest things that they need to do. Editing the requirements sounds great, but actually functionally is not as useful as you might think. If I hit eight, you can see some of the things they can do. You can get points for quests. We don't. I don't know that much about how that works. So presumably you can do things in the quest to get points. I think in the normal game, it's like kill all the zombies and you get points. Uh, but we don't have as much of that. Item requirements is like you have to present your sugar cane to, to advance. Also not a thing we use very often. Permission requirements. So we could actually set it based on your ranking. Like you can only take this quest if you're a scientist or an engineer. We Those are rankings in our game. And then uh, setting the quest requirements... Uh, that, that's actually where you would ha say you can only take this quest if you've done other quests. And so that's a thing that we do actually use. So Because it might be possible for, for players to skip around different portals or to go to different parts of the level, but we really want them to do uh, components of them that before. Setting custom requirements. I only know how to do that using FDP. I know that sounds bad. There's some, because like you, you, you give it, uh, let's, let, me, let me look at the, the command. You, you say like, this is for observation. So we can give it the uh, observation objective. That is the thing we can actually make. We can type that as a quest requirement. But when I type it in this interface, it's like, this doesn't exist. And I don't know why it doesn't exist. But if I type it in, in the file in FTP, it's like, oh, yeah, it's cool. It doesn't mind it. So uh, I don't know how to tell you how to do that the right way. One of our smarter IT people might be able to tell you how to do that the right way. Or maybe we're all just doing it via FTP as like the backwards uh, like ninja flip hack around thing. Okay, so anyway, this, this would set up the quest the player would get. Uh, we could give them a quest journal. At this stage, I would not do that. Um, that, that is, uh, you can set a region that gives them the journal is the way that we are often doing this, or you could have like a, a uh, info head where they could click on it to get the journal. The thing about the journal is it's only internal to that level because we reset the inventory by level. Um, and, and so if they go to another map, the, their quest journal might not automatically be in their inventory and the quests may not carry over. One of the things I found is if you have a quest journal in your person before you get the quest, that quest, once you get it, will not show up in your journal. You have to put the journal away and take it back out in order for the quest to refresh, which is not usable at all. Like people are not going to do that knowing what's going on. Um, okay. So we have the get to the rocket. Let's, let's, uh. Uh, so we have to scroll back up. I've sort of forgotten our, our things here. Um, so I'm going to say 11, done. So, okay. Uh, we have a few of the things still left to go here. So edit stages. If I go to 10, we can see the stages. So I can add a stage. There we go. Um, and then we have the objectives that can be in the different stages, conditions, and all those kinds of things. So the complete message, etc. cetera. Um, and so I have to remember now, reach locations. There we go. Number six, sorry, I, this keeps scrolling, but number six there is reach locations. We have to tell it the location we want them to get to. Um, now I am gonna go and teleport around. Uh, I have this nifty teleport plugin installed, makes it easy to get places. So 
I'm actually gonna go down to the ground. We're gonna call this quest, get to the rocket. Like, it, it can be good enough where it's, like, about to hear. This is about... So, let's see if I can do... Um, I'm actually gonna turn on... We have a portal to teleport you. So I'm gonna turn on portal debug mode. And that means if I walk in this door, for instance, it's gonna tell me that I'm in a portal, but it's not gonna make me go places. So, I wanna check if there's a region here. So, let's see. We are in global, which is not that helpful. So, we might have to make a region for this to work. Um, oh, that's right. Actually, you can assign, I forget. Um, you can, I, I believe you can do it with regions, but you can also just do it with arbitrary components. So I'm gonna do, or uh, not components, uh, coordinates. That's the word I want. Game mode, spectator. Okay, go into game mode, spectator. I want him to reach about here. This is the get to the rocket, I think. We're gonna say the quest is done there. So in my upper right, you can see I've got a coordinate set uh, that gives us a location, so that's helpful. So I should be able to scroll up here and see we were looking to get to reach location. So I'm gonna hit six, hopefully that will work. Here we go. I don't know how to do things. All right, so we're gonna right click on a block to select it. I've right clicked on that block to select it. And enter add, oh, maybe I have to type add. Ah, okay, I'm a big dummy. I thought you meant like you hit the enter key or the return key. Okay, uh, number two, we're gonna set the radii. Uh, there we go, we've got a radii of two, and we're gonna set the location names. We're gonna call this rocket as the location name. So there we go, now you can see it with our total list of items, rocket launch at that location, uh, with all of that. Okay, so we hit done. So hopefully now, uh, we, number six here, you can see we have to reach locations for this quest. Okay, and uh, we can set a complete message and do some of these other things within the specific stage of the quest. But this is not the overall quest. This is this particular stage. So you might say, all right, now that you've talked to Jorge, you should go talk to Neil. You know, you might have these like interim instructions or pieces that go in there um, that, that, and other stuff that could be part of the action. So I think this is hopefully enough for the quest. So we, we, that was stage one that we just did. And I'm going to say I'm done with it. And this is important, this last piece here. So I've sort of backed up to the highest level. Uh, we've got the name of the quest. We've got the opening message. What happens when you complete it? Who you talk to to start it? It could have been a region instead. Uh, we have requirements for the quest. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, we didn't do requirements for the quest. We have a stage of the quest that we've added. Um, and we're going to save this now. Make sure to say yes and save. Once you have saved it, it exits you out of the quest editor. And now we are back at the front here. And I should be able to do quest admin reload. Okay, so we have 15 quests, as relo quests reloaded, and I should be able to do quests editor, and uh, let's see, if I do two, I can edit quests. You can see get to the rocket is at the very end there as an option for quests that I could edit. Um, now, I cannot test this very easily because I have an op account that uh, apparently just doesn't, like quests often don't work for this account. I don't know exactly why that is. So I log back in. Uh, you could use one of the blank whimsy accounts if you like. I just use one of the millions of FabLab accounts. Um, I use multi-MC, so it's really easy to switch accounts. Uh, and you can run through and make sure that your quest works right. So that's actually what I'm gonna try to do now uh, with our quest plugin. So, do, 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 do. okay. So we go to the start here. You'll notice I'm in adventure mode. Come through. Hey, check it out, by the way, I've got a map. Uh -huh. See, it would tell me how to get to the rocket. Very easy quest. Go up here, oops. Okay, so you see he's got the little notes popping out. Um, and if I click on him, it gives me this quest accepted. Now, in this case, it's not that important if they accept the quest or not, because getting to the rocket is fairly obvious. It is not uh, a required quest <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. They're not really learning anything super important and we don't even care if they know how to do quests yet at this point or not. It's sort of a layer of redundancy to help them go to a place. I don't know if we're actually gonna keep this as a quest. Uh, he is spamming things, so it's sort of a problem if they try to sit there and read. If I walk away from him though, he'll stop spamming me. Um, all right, so we can see it said quest accepted, get to the rocket. The objectives are go to the rocket and I've got a map to go to the rocket. So let's go to the rocket. Near, 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 near. Now, actually, if I think back to this, uh, what I maybe would do is encourage them to explore as well as go to the rocket. So we might give them two quests or a quest with multiple stages, uh, all, all of course being pretty optional. Sorry, this is a little slow. Okay, almost there. Let's see if it completes the quest. 
Quest complete! Yay! We got to the rocket and we successfully made a quest. So hopefully you can follow these bad instructions that I've just made now to make your own quests and add them on different levels in the server. Okay, that's all. Bye.